The following is a performance tip for anyone who's using a FortiGate firewall. Let's look at the following policy. Let's just edit this one and we can see that employees who are connected to the finance interface at port 3 and are heading towards WAN, the WAN interface, are only allowed to use the DNS and the FTP protocols. If they'll try to use another protocol, they will be sent to the implicit deny, uh, which is at the bottom of the table and their traffic will actually be stopped. Now, whenever there's a match in your firewall policy and accept match, the session information is actually saved in a session table that's how your FortiGate works it's a session aware firewall you can also save the denied session in the session table and in that way you can actually consume less cpu resources so let's just do that blocking the packets from a denied session can actually consume more resources from the CPU than just passing out the traffic. So let's just open up the command line, config system settings, all right, set session denied traffic, and you need to enable that. So let's just put that to enable. Now, the second thing that you will do is to configure the amount of time that the denied session will stay in the session table. For that, we'll use the config system global. All right. Let's set the block session timer. Now, the default is 30, but we will use it as long as we can. So let's just set it to 300 and let's end it. Now the session, the denied session will stay in this session table for a long time and thus will make the performance of your FortiGate much, much more optimized for large organizations where you have lots of denied sessions. This is a great tip.